and I could eat anything. What do you know? Looks like I survived another night. Couldn't set it better myself there. I love that one. Well, we've been pretty busy running around Hush River. We're seven days or more old, and we're having a good time mapping the area. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to The Long Dark and our faithful cartographer, Interloper Run. Uh, she just woke up after a nice little nap because we were doing a couple of things, and I believe last episode we did a little bit. It's kind of dark. It's kind of right at the beginning of day, and we need to do a little bit more sleeping, so... I think if there's anything I need to do, I probably need to do it right now before I put her right back to bed. So let's see if we've got any food left in us. Took care of the rabbits, took care of the stuff, did a few of the things that we normally would do. And we're going to try to make a quick run for the a valley. We're going to try to make it, well, a valley, the, the ravine, the, part, the, the, the lowest part of this map today. I know I said that we were going to try to do that last episode. We couldn't manage to get it done because everything is going to be kind of against us. I really probably should be running right now for that, but I want to try to make sure we have as much stamina as we possibly can to get in and out of that thing in a couple of days. So we should have everything we need. Our coal has respawned. That's beautiful. Let's take a really, really quick nap, get the sun back up. I've got an hour and a half. Why don't you make a little teeny tiny amount of water? Actually, why don't you make a lot of water? Add fuel... Uh, I really don't want to waste it, actually, at this point. No, we're just going to make a little teeny tiny amount of water. And, you know, no, 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 no. I want to warm up teas. Once again, the indecisiveness is killing me. Go ahead and make a little bit of water. Just make the whole thing. That'll take two hours. We're going to sleep for two hours. We're going to wake up and get a couple of teas sorted out, and then we're going to make a quick run for that. Hopefully we don't have a blizzard the way this place has been the last seven or eight days how many days has it been seven beautiful we've been here a week we've been, we, we we were born in that's why i'm saying hush river is such a good place to come if you are a an interloper and you understand it so let's see we'll pick up our pick it up pick it up pick it up and do we have any warm teas we do, or warm teas, teas we can warm? I probably should not have done that. Let's just do this, and they won't burn too badly. This. Wow, that coal respawned right next to us. That's interesting. And one of those. I believe it was last episode, episode or two ago, we now have cooking two. So that means all of our teas are now going to last a little bit longer, meaning we're going to get a little bit more calories out of them. That one's got 110 versus this one's 100 so that's one of the bigger perks food that we have now will last a little bit longer and well you'll cook a little bit more of it so let's see everything's sitting up here doing well we have a bunch of stuff i may run back over there because we're going to be a little bit of time before we get out of here uh we may make a run back over to that cave and go get those other two guts just so we have guts to make the this right here our our bow because i should have enough stuff once we get out of here to do a few more things and i did go ahead and dump a bunch of more stuff off these guys are going to sit there and act like they're going to burn not a big deal grab a torch how many torches do we own at this point we might need to put more wood on that yeah um h Grab that one. It looks nice. It's kind of windy, but it's not bad. You're going to be done here in just a second. And we're going to go ahead and give that just a second or two to completely burn down. That should be a pretty good fire. Should be a pretty good fire. We may have a bunch of uh, charcoal on us. How much charcoal we got? 27. I am actually going to drop some of that. I don't think I need that much charcoal drop thank you so we're gonna grab that it's on embers i drank the wrong one but that's fine um the light use go thank you pick it up pick it up pick it up let's go we're just gonna leave that because we're gonna come back Now, the bear and all that stuff will be around the corner over here, and I think actually since we've kind of gone that direction, 
I want to go this way and just view it, see what we've got. But I kind of want to go back up and around and then come back down this direction. I don't believe any of this is named out here, so I'm not worried about it right now. But I do want to go back up there because there's a spot up here I want to look at. Kind of go towards the entrance a little bit. I am afraid we're going to have to come back because I think there is a spot we can't get to right now. But we're going to aim for that area today. Is he here? Kind of hard to hear over the music, but whatever. I usually stay out of this area because the bear that's in this area scares the crap out of me every time. Where is he? He must be over there. Hmm. Or out. actually, he goes clear around over there. His cave is right there by that little log. Or that stump. We're going to grab a couple of cattails. I'm going to try to walk this out because I don't want to waste the energy right now. And it's plumb nice out here today too. Holy cow. Okay, so we're going to go up like we're going to go out because I want to go up on top and go check something. There's a spot up here that may have a little bit more goodies. We've just about hit all of the good places to find stuff in Loper. Oh, he's back here. He was right behind me somewhere. Well, okay. I heard you. Oh, he's right there somewhere. Ah, no, no, I don't want to drink that one. I want to drink one that's hot. Oh, he was coming out. Of, he was right behind us. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the exit is over here. Yeah. Exit entrance, whatever you want to call it, is over behind us. So we'll go ahead and use up some of these torches. Hopefully we can make it to where I want to get to so we can make another fire very quickly without the wind blowing our fire out. I'd like to carry that fire all the way down into the basin. But we're not leaving out here yet. We're going to go that way. And I should be mapping, but I'm going to kind of think we'll probably try to map our way back out. So. This is for one of you guys that are doing the As Dead Sleep Challenge. There's a kind of a shortcut over here to that, that area that you got to come through. If you just come down in and then go this direction instead of going down into the actual area. You can kind of shortcut almost every single one of the animals, at least coming in. Because I think we'll still have to go up top and, and um, map that cave up there, because I don't think I mapped that cave. Again, I think we'll probably just get most of this done. I was kind of trying to get everything out of here, but I started to calculate on the food and the cattails and the things and stuff like that, and we are getting a little short, so we do need to probably move on. We're going to go pick most of the cattails out of an area very soon. Am I going to get it? No. Sometimes there's a... Uh, campfire up here and it's a floaty campfire so that sucks all right and then we're just going to kind of carefully work our way down this hill over here which if i remember correctly you can just kind of do this this and the bear is over there all right back to where we kind of started now, I want to pop a fire down here. I don't don't run. We got minutes. If I oh great, yeah, we're getting ready to lose this fire. 
Um, put it right there, I guess. Please start me a fire. If we miss it, we miss it. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. I was hoping for a few more torches. Come on, little fire. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, because that one just about died. Add fuel, just put a couple of sticks on it. Like that. And H, give me a real quick T. Drink it. And pull. Take a torch. I was concerned that was going to happen. Now let's go say hi to the moose. Actually, we need to go map something, and then we'll go say hi to the moose. We're going to get a little bit of damage probably right here. Give me that piece of firewood. Many Falls Avista. Can I light a torch off of that? Can I have the best torch we have? Thank you. Throw it down. Pick that one up. Put it out. Map. Starting to feel numb. All right, Many Falls Vista. Still on? Let's go. So we don't have to worry about the moose. He's not here. The only thing we got to worry about is that wolf that's down here. But we need to get to basin up in that the cave that's on the far side of here, like now. I'm afraid we're going to get to the other side and the wind's going to blow our torch out. Come on, you can do it, sweetheart. We're going to have to climb back out of there in a day or two. All right, made it. Just going to go grab all this wood that I know is laying around because we're probably going to need it. I feel like a blizzard might be coming. Our friend the wolf is here, which means I need to go around him. What time is it? Middle of the day. Good enough for us to get over there. Get that out. Give me a good one. I don't want to fight with that 14. All right, uh, we're going to go around the wolf, hopefully. With what stamina we have left. And make sure you collect sticks. I knew it. Thank you for wasting my match. Well, if we're lucky, we might find some matches over here. I need some more sticks, though. How many sticks do we own at this point? Twelve. And we got a little bit of firewood. I think the food is going to be the problem. Now, the wolf prowls right over there. I want to try to stay away from him. But, like, that waterfall, that waterfall, the end down here, this position over there, there's all kinds of places down here in the bottom that we should be able to get in one day if we're lucky and have nice weather. So I do want to run down at least and gather up a few of these just so that we have enough. We got most of an eyeball or a decent amount of the eyeball left. But this is what I mean, like we're getting to the thin point on the food. And I'll have to remind myself, but um, I know that there's been a couple of times I've seen some other people play or at least some friends of mine that have been playing 
and they get this spawn down here and you have no idea what you're supposed to do with it, there is a spawn point way at the back over here that can be very confusing if you don't know exactly where you are right off, especially considering the fact that there are two ropes out of this area. There's a rope on this side and the rope we just came down. And if you go to that rope getting out of here, you're going to have to go down the rope and then go back up the rope. If you spawn down here in the bottom, if you spawn down here in the bottom, it's um, a whole heck of a lot harder a start than what we had. So let's see. Hypo, we're doing okay. Uh, I think I'll quit. How many do we have? 23. Plenty. We'll, we'll, we'll mess around with that tomorrow then. I think there's a path right here. Yes. Yes. Is that the piece of coal? Yes. Cool. Let's go. Into the wind to the cave we go. This is the rope you don't take. If you spawn down here, you don't take this rope. And if you notice the difference, you can see all of the valley and the waterfall. You don't go up that rope. You go over to the other side. Now, I mean, if you get down here and you're kind of screwed, you do have a few rabbits you can eat. I might actually... Well... I need to find a place to rest. I know, you're tired. We might take a quick nap and go harvest a rabbit because this weather's not awesome. I do apologize, this does get a little loud because of that waterfall. You're all right, we're doing well. I mean, it's just I'm waiting for the blizzard to come in and I'm trying to do as much work as I can before the blizzard hits. So this should be a named location, right? Valley Cave, yes it is. Wood, wood, and what do we get? Hope nobody needs Food. This anymore. Is it going to warm up back here? This cave is usually full of coal. And that's usually about it. All right. So we have a little bit of the day. I am going to go ahead and put her to bed for just two hours so we can catch that warm back up. I want to go catch a couple of rabbits if we can. I hope I didn't just lose well fed. Almost. All right. Uh, almost lost well fed. Beautiful. Eat a few of those. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to map this and see if we can get a couple of waterfalls on this end mapped. I want to try to map as much as I can while we're down here. I brought plenty of water, too. Why did I do that? Well, that means that way I don't have to make a fire. We're still going to have to make a fire. It's going to be too stinking cold otherwise. Drink some water. All right, cool. Let's do a little bit of this. Back up. And go blunk, 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 blunk blunk and drop like that many of those plenty of stuff plenty of sticks i'm going to keep the actually yeah that it, it drop sticks because we're going to be picking those up too drop that's plenty i don't really care and why did i not leave that i love myself some days okay whatever drop drop and put you down we don't need a lot of that on us we still have plenty of time plenty of daylight let's go over here and map this might be able to get quite a bit of surveying done hey you're over here 
Valley Cave, right there. We're right there. All right, so there should be a waterfall right beside us, which I believe we should be able to catch from right here. I'm concerned about over there because the wolf will see us, so I'll have to pay attention to him. I apologize. This is going to get loud because we're going to be by this waterfall. Little Bear and Cub Falls. And out of the wind. Can we get out of the wind? Somewhere? Yes. All right, map. Little Bear and Cub Falls. I know, you're going to be fine. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about that big dark spot, but we're kind of coming up with stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. You're fine. You'll be okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's see. I know he's down here. I don't want to bother him. What time is it? Let's see if we can get one more while it's still warm. Where is he? He's usually over there, but I've seen him come over here at times. The river runs kind of, this kind of splits and goes that direction. He'll usually stay on the other side of the river over there. Hey, the rainbow's out, cool. Occasionally there's a rainbow over here. Actually, I think it's here all the time, but whatever. <sighs> Long shot. There's a lot of the name locations in the, bi the basin down here. There's a bunch. I mean, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. I forget. The cave, the waterfalls, there's a, an overlook that we have to find. So can I get out of the wind anywhere, please? Yes. Uh, the cold is making my head feel thick. Long shot falls. This one over here is named. Uh, there will be something here. There's going to be something back here. Wind's up. That's great. I may try to get one more. I'm gonna need to We're kind of tired. It, I can't run away from the wolf for very far. Where is he? Let's see if we can get eyes on him at least. I know. Wait. Yeah, he's where I thought he cold. was going to be. Um, Warming up a bit. Can I see it from right here? Or have I got to be down there? Twin Sisters Falls. Awesome. All right. Fog came up. Do a little crouch walk up the hill. Keep our eyes open. We got plenty. Okay, he's headed away from us. Run. Run with what you got left. And might as well pick up sticks because we're going to need a long fire tonight. She's gotten a lot of her, a lot of damage taken today. That's okay. We're good. We're fine. I was sure hoping for a piece of clothing in there, but I guess. We'll use the log if we can use the log.
think we're good. Yeah. Ha <sighs> uh, We don't have anything to cook. Holy cow, at the stuff. Well, uh, I'm gonna hang on to him, I suppose. So, put this over here, put that over here. Part of me wants to take another real quick nap and go catch a couple of rabbits. I don't know if it's worth my time, though. We might plink them on the way through. I don't think we're going to leave tomorrow. It just depends. Or like, say, tomorrow, whenever we do tomorrow is. So, let's go ahead and... I guess bed down real quick. We've got a few minutes. Uh, don't go away from where you need your fire. Where is it going to be? It's going to be right there somewhere. Put that down. Let's go ahead and craft up a few things. Drink some water. She's going to sleep real good. We should be able to regain quite a bit of that. I mean, I know it's kind of a chicken thing. I usually don't like to go much past right here. I know. It, it, any, anything past about right there, like like maybe right in between these two, zero, these two lines, anything about right there, if you're any lower than that, one wolf hit will kill you. One will kill you bear will take you down to almost to the point you will die so i don't like to be much lower than this all the time so it is how i tend to kind of play things so let's go take a take a drink we're going to take a good how long do you think let's take a good eight hour nap and then we'll stand on this side of it and hope it doesn't get too cold Yeah, like it did. Okay, cool. That's about where I want it to be, though. And I didn't eat enough, stupid. I got to quit doing that. We're going to end up screwed if we don't. That's twice in one episode. Think. I've been playing too many other games that I don't have to worry about eating. Okay, light us a torch. Time for fire. Right about there. Go. Here we go. Are we going to do this a dozen times and burn all my torches up? I have a chance for one more with that torch. Come on, little fire. Come on. I'd really love to read that book. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. Golly. Uh, a bunch of sticks. Just pour all those on there, and then we'll grab that. And we'll grab one of those. Four hours of fire, beautiful, and take a couple of more naps. We have, well, we'll just sleep until she can't sleep anymore. And the long dark always decides what we do. I love it. Okay, uh, we still have an hour and 30 minutes on that. Give me a bunch of these sticks that we have laying around and a piece of that firewood. Yes, I know, you're hungry. We need to stock up on torches. And I think probably what I'm going to do is we're going to get stocked up, cooked up, ready to go, and we will call it looking at the recording time.
I know it's kind of sad, but that means we can pick right up from here. Go. Give me some torches. Actually, 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 I know what I can do. One second. Drink it. I am going to go do this because I have a two-hour fire. Give me one of those cruddy torches. Uh, drop both of those. They're just heavy weight. Give me that thing. Let's go see if we can catch a couple of rabbits, and then we can end it. Probably not. Because it's really cold out here. Ominous music. I don't need the torch. Put it out. Two rocks. Breakfast. God dang it. Drop. Your friend is over there. <laughs> Something I have learned, especially with the rocks, the rabbits. It, if, if you're having a hard time like we just did right there, picking them up, hit H as soon as you hit the rabbit. That way it puts the rock away. Because sometimes you're just far enough away when you hit the rabbit that you uh, throw the rock instead of pick the rabbit up. And, well that locks you into that animation and if you have to run a long way to catch the rabbit you tend to lose the rabbit which is why I tend to try to wait until they're right on top of or I'm right on top of them which gives me a little bit more time so awesome alrighty then ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna take care of these two guys and we're going to boil a little bit of water. I'm going to get some more sun up, hopefully. And then we're going to go do the rest of the mapping down here in the bottom in the next episode. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Rabbits.